kind of hope for as a, as a player that all of a sudden the end of the year comes and you're playing your best basketball? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is what we really wanted to see at the start of the season. Um, and, and now, I mean, it can't come at a perfect time because now it's tournament time. What's different? I mean, have you guys just figured things out? Are you playing better together, better chemistry? Why all of a sudden? Or is there just an urgency? And this team has a bunch of kids who respond to that. Yeah, I think it's. I think our defense is, is helping us out because we're allowing that to create our offense, and um, we're a better team when we're in transition. And when we get out in transition, it's going from side to side instead of uh, standing and waiting for for things to happen. And um, when the ball moves, it's it's pretty pretty easy to score that way. What's making the defense so effective at this point? It's being aggressive and, and talking. We're focusing on talking more. Um, and just making sure you're you're taking advantage of your own matchup. Um, we all get a scout at, at the beginning, and you want to um, win your matchup essentially. Is it the defense that's that's making you play this well right now? I mean, and other things are just kind of falling into place because you guys committed to it. I think that's where it starts, but it's also just moving on offense. We're not standing as much as we did earlier in the season, and um, like I said, when the ball moves, it's it's a lot easier. I talked to Gino a little bit about being undefeated in the regular season in the American. I think if any year, they pro other competitors probably thought they could do something this year. I know you still have the playoffs to go, but is that meaningful to kind of be able to close this out and kind of end this chapter this way? Absolutely, um, especially how it was done. Um, when we went down there uh, a couple weeks ago, it was a battle in the first half, and um, before you could blink, it was, it was like 20 to 4. Um, so that's what, what we wanted. Obviously, we've played, we played better in the last couple of games, so we wanted to be able to string two good halves again together. You make the case for Megan being the player of the year. It seems like she's been so consistent all year long in the conference. Yeah, um, I don't I don't think there's a person in the conference that's been able to guard her. Um, and, and she scores in all three levels, three-point uh, shot, uh, pull-up dribble, uh, jump shot, and then down low. You know, she's a physical player. And um, in the conference, like I said, I don't think there's anybody that can guard her. And how much has she played in terms of helping your defense be what it is right now? She seems like that versatile, athletic player who can do quite a few things out there defensively. Yeah, um, even when it's out of conference, you know, she's having to guard people that are out on the perimeter. And then when we do sub and she has to go down low, she's able to hold her own, own down there too. Um, and that came from the other two years that she had to play play a bigger role down there, down there with Fee and everything. So she was able to put all that together this year. In your eyes, what's important going into um, the tournament this weekend? Is it just kind of keeping this going, consistency for you? Yeah, um, I I think if we play this way, no matter who we play on this weekend, we're, we'll come out on top. Um, there's only so many styles of basketball that you can play um, against us, but um, we've seen we had the two games, Cincinnati and Houston, they kind of played the same way, and then we had a team that was completely different. But we still were able to do what we wanted, take them out of their offense, and then go down on offense on our, on our own and, and you know, pick them apart. It wasn't just people on the outside who said all year that you weren't the same type of UConn team. You guys were saying it yourselves. But the way you've looked the last couple of weeks, you look like the old UConn. Do you feel that now? I mean, is there a sense of pride now? You know what, we're playing the way this program's supposed to? Yeah, um, it just feels like it's, oh, it's a weight lifted off your shoulders because you know it's finally what you wanted. Um, like I said, it's what we wanted at the beginning of the year. Um, and, and people are a lot more comfortable now um, in, in what they're supposed to be doing. The shots are going in, and when your shots are going in, you, you know, you're able to do a lot more things. With that weight lifted off your shoulders, no less pressure on you. Do you think you can, you know, make a better run now in the league tournament and then in the NCAA tournament just because people are relaxed? I think so. Um, and the more you have games like this, the more you have practices, good practices, it erases doubt. Um, whenever doubt is able to creep in, you know, it, it leaves room for error. And, and you have games where you, you make one mistake and it may snowball into a lot more. Um, but if, if you can be consistent like this, um, especially these next these next three games that we hopefully will have, uh, it'll set us up um, feeling good for the NCAA tournament. So is there just a lot less doubt in this team right now? I, I think so. When when your shots aren't falling, you know you you feel you feel like nothing can go right. Um, when you're giving up layups um, or you're fouling, putting them on the free throw line, or you're giving them open shots, you feel like you can't stop anybody. So it all it all plays a hand in it. 
Um, so I feel like if we can continue to do what we're doing, we're we'll in good, pretty much pretty good shape.